Sharice, you made it a cold day in hell that we are taking Zadia's side with something. You are everything that Zadia said you were. You are rude. You, I, I do believe that you were bullying. You're not a girl's girl. You're not. You're condescending. You do belittle the other women. You think you're better than everybody. It's very clear why you're single. It's very clear why you had to come on to this show. Because if you behave like this on camera, I can only imagine how you behave when cameras are not around. I can only imagine. But what's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tammy. This is Tammy Talks. We're here to talk, ready to love, make a move, season one, episode 12, making moves. If you're brand new to the channel or a returning viewer that is just not yet subscribed, I hope that this is the video that changes your mind and convinces you to um, subscribe to the channel. We did reach our goal for 2023 of 20,000 plus. So thank you, thank you to all of you that have been rocking with me. If you haven't though, go ahead and subscribe. We'll be back for Ready to Love Dallas, um, the second season, Love Island, Married at First Sight, Housewives of Potomac. I got a lot of stuff going on. So if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's talk about this episode though. So we get the final cocktail party. Let's be real. This this 30 minute portion that I feel was drawn out, that was very anticlimactic. We knew who was going to pick what. <laughs> we knew which way these ladies were going to go. This really could have been on the tail end of last week. But let's talk about it anyways. Cam came in sweating through that shirt. And I just kind of feel like you wouldn't have to constantly carry around that tacky towel in your back pocket if you would just wear like an undercut underneath there. Get you a beater, get you a t-shirt, get you something, and then you wouldn't be sweating all through your clothes like that, sir. But whatever. Um, so we start off with Sharice. Sharice decides that she's going to move forward with Maurice. She wants him to come explore seeing her in Miami in her element. Sharice settled. Sharice, you didn't like that man, which is why you decided to go a different way with him. He doesn't talk, but you were, you know, blinded by his Louis Vuitton slides and the fact that he is a lawyer. He has some roses sent to the table and you melted. This man does not talk to you. But hey, I guess the fact that he's a lawyer and he can fly you first class overseas is all you cared about. So, okay. So then we have Vernicia. Vernicia is still concerned about Tabari's communication. She feels that when they are together, he's everything she wants him to be. When they are not, uh, the communication is lacking. So because of that, she said that she's going back to Houston alone. Um, she then was annoyed that he was speechless and it's like the audacity, the gall. Why are you, you just broke up with him, right? You just dumped him after y'all have had a, a good last couple of dates. He thought things were going in the right direction. You're breaking up with him. Why are you mad that he's speechless? What did you want him to say? Because nothing that he said was going to change your mind. So why do you want him to say anything? Here's the thing. I like Vernicia. I think she's cool. She's probably a good time. She seems like a, a, a true girl's girl. But Vernicia has a very childish mentality, right? Vernicia wants to be in a relationship. I feel like, but only in, in theory. Only in theory. Because this is why I said we need more. Because what... What is he not doing communication wise? And I think that's the disconnect for a lot of people. Vernicia can tell us he's not communicative all she wants, but she's not giving an example. The one example that we got was the next day she wanted him to text her and he didn't while she said in the same breath that she was going to reach out to him, but she didn't because she wanted to see what he was going to do. To me, that's childish. That's a very childish mentality. Some of y'all were in the comments saying that y'all would never text a man first. I think that's wild, right? If y'all have been communicating, y'all have been talking, y'all have been seeing each other, what is wrong with in the morning if you haven't heard from him by, shit, I don't know, 8.30, 9 a.m., just sending the text, hey, good morning, how you doing today? I don't see an issue with that. 
but the mentality that I he has to contact me first, we're not teenagers anymore. But if Renisha feels that's the best decision for her, I support it. But then you can't get mad and say, well, I thought he was going to follow me to the door. Why? Why? Vernisha and Ashley want men to chase them. They want men to chase them. Were her and Tabari evenly yoked? No, we all said that she didn't like Tabari. She should have stayed with Jabari. She should have stayed with him. But you, you can't be mad when you break up with somebody and then they don't chase after you. Nonetheless, so we're, we're uh, one for one right now. So we have Zadia. Zadia tells Cam that, you know, she likes that he has risen to the occasion. I said, oh, girl. So Zadia um, says that she does not know where they stand after this. Where are we going to move forward? He don't have time for you while you're in the city. He's not moving to D.C. You are not moving to NOLA. So what are we really doing here and why are we doing it? Why are we wasting time and tape? <laughs> time and tape. Nonetheless, Zadia decides that um she's going to make a move with him. And she wants to move forward and see if they can explore and see where they're going to go with this. I said, mm. okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Sharice had the, the temerity, the gall, the nerve, the audacity to sit her ass in that confessional and say that Zadia was settling. It takes one to know one, down it? Hey, pot on me, um, pot on, I always do that. I always do that. Hey, pot, meat kettle. Sharice, you're settling just as much as Zadia is. But okay, girl, let, let he who was without sin cast the first stone. I, I do not like Sharice. I'm so glad I skipped a season. Lord, Sharice Lozada is annoying AF. So we then have Ashley. The ladies have to give her a pep talk before this. And they were all but telling her, do not stay with Cam. I'm sorry, not with Cam. Do not stay with Donald. Do not stay with Don. Pick yourself. They are all but telling her, do not stay with this man. And what does Ashley does? She stays with him. So Ashley tells Don that she that he sometimes needs to take time to get his words together. And she likes a man to be a leader. Time out. A man that wants to think about his words and choose his words before saying them does not mean that he's not a leader. A man that is able to pop off at the, the top of the dome and get active and get activated does not make him a leader automatically. <coughs> you know what I mean? I thought that was a very weird way for her to try to correlate the two. Donald doesn't step up and defend you. That's... I mean, that would be indicative of him not being a leader, but him wanting to choose his words wisely and gather himself before speaking, I don't think that makes him less of a leader. But she doesn't care. She wants to make a move with him. And I said, oh, girl. Oh, girl. So she decides to make a move with him. We then move on to this 20-minute reunion where 10 of the minutes were commercials. But we got some good stuff out of it. So let's talk about it. I got three paragraphs of notes. So it starts off with Cherie saying that this process was not easy for her because she's never lived with anyone else. Um, but then she said that the ladies, Zadia, Ashley, Vernicia, made it easy since they were so easy to get along with. I said, Cherise, what, what show were you watching? What show were you watching? Y'all, and it's not even everybody, you have not been getting along with Zadia. Y'all started beefing like episode three, wasn't it? But okay, and the ladies were all kind of looking at her like, girl, what? So that tells me that Cherise acted a fool in that house, probably with everybody at some point in time. So we then talk about the whole Zadia and Sharice beef. Sharice says she don't want to talk about it because she's over and she's past it. Now, this, this reunion is three months later. Like I told y'all before, Sharice is the type of person that 
She wants to be able to bulldoze the conversation, say everything she wants to say. She gets loud. She gets boisterous. She gets animated. And then she decides that I don't want to talk about it because I don't care anymore. And then she walks away. And for other people, there are people that want to get closure. You can't expect to come in and bulldoze the conversation and then feel like, well, I got everything I wanted to say off my chest, so I don't give a damn how anybody else feels about it. That's not how life works. So Zadia said that Sharice was a bully. When she said bully-ish, I'm a cleaning up for her education. She said that Sharice was a bully. And she said that Sharice never talked to her in a respectful manner. She said that, she, you know, when Zadia will try to have conversations with her or express different things, that Sharice would start yelling and being disrespectful. And I believe her. I do. You know why? Because in this moment, we see Sharice do just that. So Sharice is like, none of it's true. That's not true. What part isn't true? What part isn't true? So Sharice then goes on to say that Zadia had an issue with her having men in the house. And y'all know I don't like Zadia, right? I didn't care for Zadia on her, on her season. I didn't care for Zadia on this season. She was a smidge, a smidge more likable on this show. But Zadia is still a very unlikable person. But one thing that we can say is that when when Sharice and Zadia did have their issue or, or whatever the case was, Zadia was trying to talk to her woman to woman as an adult and Sharice didn't want to. So Zadia is like, I never had an issue with there being men in the house. When you said that was your rule, I said, okay. Vernicia and Ashley both were like, yeah, you did. So... Zadia is saying that you never told me you had an issue with me. Sharice is saying, I didn't have to. I didn't have to tell you. I wasn't comfortable telling you. I feel more comfortable with Tamika. And I said, Sharice, you are 44 years old. You don't have the, the you don't have the comfort, the emotional intelligence or maturity to say, hey, Zadia, girl, you woke me up this morning when you decided to come in at whatever time you came in at. Like, that's not cool. Let's let's not do that again. Make sure you got your key, whatever the case. You don't have the, the, the voice within yourself that you can do that? What the fuck do you mean you're not comfortable doing that? You are 44 years old. Come on, Sharice. How do you run a business? How do you run a business if you're not comfortable telling somebody, hey, you woke me up? What do you tell your employees? What do you tell your customers? How do you talk to your accountant? How do you talk to maintenance when maintenance comes? How do you talk to marketing when you have to get stuff done with that? How do you talk to the man at the fucking grocery store when he puts the, the bottle of soda on top of your bread? What do you mean you weren't comfortable telling her that? Come on, let's be real. Zadia was not rude to Sharice. She wasn't. So then it turns into Tamika being like, well, why did you lie to me? I'm going to tell y'all this. I have said this all season. Zadia does not have to tell anybody where she was. I don't understand why this has been a big deal. I truly don't. If she didn't want to tell y'all that she was out sitting in the car having an all-nighter with that man talking, she doesn't have to. So like Zadia says, she's grown and she pays all her bills. And if I want to leave a place, I can leave a place. So they're like, well, why didn't you tell us she doesn't have to? Zadia feels that she should have been the one to tell her business. And truth to be told, Sharice really had no reason to bring it up. Sharice keeps saying that Zadia brought a man into the house when she knows that Zadia didn't. That's the thing. The real root of the issue is why does Sharice feel the need to mention that Zadia was even out all night? Why? What was the purpose? 
Because you can say, you know, sure, um, well, my issue is that I got woken up this morning because Zadia got herself locked out. You could have just said that. Like, Sharice took it a step further and made sure to be like, well, you know, you were out all night with Cam. So when you got mad later on that she said that you kissed LJ, you should have looked at that shit as karma from you basically telling everybody that she fucked Cam. It didn't need to come up. It just didn't. Sharice is acting like Zadia had Cam in the house in her room. I just don't understand why it was such a big deal. So Zadia then said that she was just joking when it came to the Sharice and LJ situation. Sharice is like, that wasn't funny. You were trying to be messy. What were you trying to be when you told everybody that Zadia didn't spend the night in her room? It's something wrong with Sharice, y'all. It's something wrong with Sharice, but again, that's how you know Sharice is not a girl's girl because I would have never, it would have never crossed my mind for us to be sitting down and me to blurt out, oh yeah, Zadia wasn't even home last night. Girl, what? <laughs> what? So they ask her about LJ. Why haven't they ever dated? She said it's because he's 35 and he's shorter than her and you're 44 tall and alone. So what's the difference? I just feel like for, for you to have the, the gall, the audacity to be like, to talk about somebody like that when you sit in your old ass on a reality show, trying to find a date, the way that these people come on TV Desperate, because you're desperate if you go on a show to get matched up like this or you want exposure. But the audacity for you to go on onto this show and then talk about why you wouldn't date somebody else that you clearly have some type of chemistry with that everybody else has seen all because he's shorter than you. And I'm part of the tall girl committee. I'm tall. So I'm very picky. I want a man that's taller than me too, obviously. I'm 5'10", so it's it's slim picking sometimes. But, like, I would never flat out be like, oh, I would never date him. He's shorter than me on national television. That's rude. So, Sharice then said that she was ganged up by all the ladies in the house, said when they were in the kitchen, when the Zadia and Sharice were going back and forth, that she was ganged up on. Vernicia was like, we never took a side. I said it was childish from jump, and was, it was. Ashley is saying, we never took a side, we didn't get involved in that. So... Sharice said that Ashley is giving Zadia grace and not her. Sharice, you are acting a plum fool on this couch. She's yelling. She's getting loud. Ashley is telling her, like, you you need to calm down. Sharice says she doesn't need to. She's expressing herself, saying that Ashley doesn't need to talk to her the way that she is. What about the way that you're talking to Ashley, though? You are yelling at her for no reason. Literally no reason. So then Ashley is telling Sharice she needs to have some class. Sharice says she was born with it. Girl, did you fail? Did you fail? Sharice thinks that she is the epitome of class and you're far from it, sis. The way that you were acting tonight is far from being anything even remotely to having the smallest modicum of class. So she stands up and she's saying, I can't talk if she's going to talk to me like this. Well, skip your old weird ass on back to the green room then. Go on, go on and leave the stage because you're doing too much. The real truth is that Sharice got called out for what how she's been acting and she wants to skip on past it and move on past it. No, we're going to call a spade a spade. You're being everything right now that Zadia said that you were. You're combative, you're aggressive, you're rude, you're mean. You're snarky. You're everything that Zadia said that you are. And then was it Tamika or Tanika? Stuff like that bothers me. Why would they get them with them two similar names? But when Tamika said that Zadia and Sharice are just like each other, and that's why there's so much friction, because they're seeing the reflection of themselves, that's true. I think the only difference is Zadia is more tolerant of it. Sharice can't stand to see her own reflection. In the next episode, it looked like ain't nobody still together. 
Look like nobody's still together. Uh, Cam said he was relieved when she left. Kirsten doesn't even want to talk to Ashley. Stormy walks. I, I just. Who are the, what are we going to do for season two? Who are the men? Let me know what you guys thought about this. This first part of the reunion. The second part is going to be next week. Looks juicier. The men are going to be there. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this. Hop in the comment section. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, thumbs up the video and have a happy and safe new year. Catch you all in 2024.